Let's zoom in to the Lubbock area during the time when the leading edge of dust moves through. We have three different tilts of the correlation coefficient from the Lubbock radar. Half degree tilt in the upper left panel, 1.3 degree tilt in the upper right panel, and 1.8 degree tilt in the lower left panel. Dust is indicated by low values of CC, which are blue in this color table. In the lower right panel, we have the GOES dust RGB, with dust indicated in the pink colors. The CC data shows the leading edge of the dust that corresponds to a coal front with low post-frontal CC values. Being able to identify dust in the CC field is very much limited in, in range since dust is concentrated at the lowest levels. In this example, we're sampling 26 miles north of the radar site. The dust is sampled on the half and 1.3 degree tilts as confirmed by the low CC values. However, on the 1.8 degree tilt, we have no data since the radar beam overshoots the dust. The half degree tilt is most useful for identifying the dust since higher tilts have only a limited range in identifying dust, but keep in mind radar range is a more significant limitation for dust compared to convection, for example. Returning to our animation, at first glance it appears that the leading edge of the dust is displaced too far east in the satellite imagery compared to radar observations of CC. Let's look at this in more detail. The green line at this time denotes the leading edge of the dust as shown in the CC field from the Lubbock radar at the various tilts. On the GOES dust RGB, I placed a green line along the leading edge of the pink colors that corresponds with dust. You can use the Lubbock METAR as a reference location and readily see that the leading edge of the dust is further east in the satellite imagery compared to radar. Let's advance forward in time by 15 minutes. The same displacement exists. And the same can be said 11 minutes afterwards. Why do we see a discrepancy in the leading edge of the dust between satellite and radar? To help answer that, we show the RAP zero hour forecast soundings for Lubbock, starting at 23Z. Note how strong the low level winds are. One kilometer AGL winds are 50 knots. After the frontal passage, the low level winds veer and get slightly stronger. The strength of radar is the detection of dust at very low levels in close proximity to the radar. So we can clearly see the frontal boundary and blowing dust along and behind the front. Satellite imagery, on the other hand, is an integrated view. We're observing a much greater depth of the atmosphere. Since the source region for much of the dust is over elevated regions to the west, we're detecting lofted dust that gets caught up in the very strong low-level winds. This lofted dust is detected more readily in satellite imagery compared to radar observations of CC. Later we'll look at a different case with much lighter synoptic scale winds where the leading edge of the dust is aligned in the vertical in radar and satellite imagery.